Hey guys, how you going? Kenny here from My Clatters. And today on Kenny Talks Cladding, I'm throwing on a custom design wall in my little outdoor abode. I'm very excited, I'm gonna do it in a surface mat. It's custom folded, 167 little pans, it folds in. I'm gonna screw this on here, I'm gonna put a toe mold on the bottom here, splash around this, it'll look real nice and fancy. Uh, and I'm just gonna do a really, really quick video on, on how it goes together. From the toe mold, and then we're gonna have some sheets go on, and we're gonna flash in around here. So, I'm not going to go into full detail, I'm just going to show you step by step how it goes and do a bit of a time lapse in between. So I've got my time all ready and I've cut it to length and I'm going to put it on and uh, I'll just show you how to do it. So here I have the time all and I'm going to set this in here. I've cut it to length already, and I'm going to sit it on to the frame, and at, at this end here, I'm going to get it so for visual appearance, for look, have it run flush with the underside of this um, stump post, post stand. That's absolutely mint, that's so good. So we don't want the collarbone sitting hard on the ground. So I've got my level out, and I'm going to sit it on here to the point where I can get a bit of lift and get it really level. And now it's in between the bubbles there. I'm actually using a biro. I'm going to run it across the bottom of there. So I've run my mark so I know that when I'm going to put a screw in, lift it to that mark and we're going to be level. It doesn't really matter, pan head type screw into the And that screw is in to hold this in place. So I've got one more to put in. There we go. Alright, next step is sarking. Pre-cut my sarking. I'm going to run this out on the wall over here using a hammer and some clouts. And I've got my clouts, I'm going to roll those clouts up so I don't stab myself. Now, we want to sit high down on the very, very bottom. I want to sit this up about 20 mil. So I want to sit on the bottom and mark on my wall a line. And I'll come down here. Mark on the wall a line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a mark approximately 20 to 30 mil above that. And that's where I'm going to run my sake. So ready to start cladding, we've got our sarking on, we've got our time mold on, and we'll get into it. So with this cladding, we've got a little shadow line that I've built into it, which is a 20 mil gap. So what I've got here is a 19 mil piece of decking timber, a bit of Merbao timber left over from my decking, that what I do at the bottom here, is I want to sit this on the bottom of the time mold and sit the sheet or the flashing on top of that, to give us that same width along the bottom. Uh, as you can see here, I have that first flashing that's gonna go in here. So this will sit in under there, that will sit down on there, and then we get a consistent line to achieve that shadow line look. So I've got my flashing here, and it's, it's I've ordered it longer than what it needed to be. So what I've done is I've fit it into position, and I'm gonna mark where I want to cut it off, and cut it off at the top. So I wanna line it up with the top of this frame here, so I'm going to put it just a tad lower than the top before I pull the flashing back out and I mark it up and cut it. Now I've cut the flashing. I'm going to put it at the bottom, which is going to give me a guide where I want to sit it. We need to get some sort of fix some form of fixing into this. And so this one here I'm fixing in these channels. I'm putting a small little roof zip or it's a it's a 25mm multi-purpose screw, it does pine, it does metal, 
I'm not so good on the hardwood though. So the color we're working with today is the beautiful color bond surf mix matte. It's a fantastic color. It gives this really nice tone. You've seen the ads on TV, they've got that big ice or the, the, I think it's not ice, whether it's ice or sand or whatever it is, but it's this beautiful uh, lake thing that gives off a fantastic texture and color. Well, surface matte, it looks amazing. I've got it all over my outdoor area here, along with some basalt matte mix, which is from a different video. This wall here, I'm doing a standing version of a custom cladding I designed, and it's in surf mist matte. So I've had these specially uh, painted surf mist matte screws from Ideal Fasteners. They do a really, really good job. And it's a small little 25 mil zip screw. 25 mil screw. They call it a roof mate or a wall mate. They're fantastic, they do a really good job. I'm gonna put my first one in at the very bottom where it goes into the bottom plate of the front. This thing is gonna do a big top screw. So first splashing here, sitting nicely in there. And now we're gonna get the first shape. Right, yeah, so here we go. I've got the first sheet that we're gonna put on. And that sheet there will sit really nicely onto here. Sit this, and this particular cladding is some of the loops flips in the side there. Put the screw out. Make sure it's sitting nice at the bottom. And screw with the sheets. Now with this system, it's got a little joiner strip piece that sits in behind here. So I'm going to mark where that needs to be trimmed. Very lucky today, we've got the, the neighbours are playing some top 40 hits and dance music. So it's keeping the um, motivation pretty high. And the excitement and the enjoyment levels. Having some good music is always, always handy. Just sit that down there. Yeah. And the way that I'm doing this, I need it to be really, really tight because it's hugging this actual sheet here. So I'm going to pull that across, leave it at the bottom for the moment, pull it up. As as I can get it at the top. There we go, that one sits in there. Now at the bottom, the exact same thing, pull it really, really tight. Right here, time to get the next sheet. So this sheet's going to be too wide for where this window or this opening is going to be. And so we need to measure from where the sheet starts here across to this frame. And I've got 515, and I need a little bit of playroom there, so I'm going to make that 515, I'm going to make that 510. So 510 across, and I need to measure what the what it is from there down to the very bottom. My timber on here, and I'm going to measure from the timber up to where it is, and I've got 825 tight. I'm going to make that 820. So what that means is I'm going to translate that. And I'm going to cut down the sheet and across and then down again so that it fits really nicely. So here I have my custom other sheet. So I've cut it out to match this window here. And I'm going to screw it onto the wall in the same way as I did before. Sitting really nice with the frame. It's right where I want it to be. I'm really happy with that. There we have it. So now I'm going to put my short little sheets on here and keep going. Now this, this last sheet that I've had to put in, I'm trimming it down, I'm gonna 
attempt to fold that a nice clean fold in there so it tucks up and butts in really really nicely to the to the post. If it doesn't, I can always just order a little cover flashing that sits in there. But I want to save some money. So I want to see if I can get a really good result out of this so I can finish it now. What I'm going to do is go through and I put this right on the blue chalk line that I've done. It's not very tight. So tighten that up. I'm only going to put a slight little tiny little bend. Very slight little bend in it. And work my way down only using the pressure. $25 and a trip down to the flashing shop, I'm pretty happy. A bit of a cleaning to do on some of the sheets there. You can see how that's all come up. You can barely see the screws at all. And you can see that's where I've just folded that piece of trim. It looks pretty good from here. So I'm pretty damn happy with the way that this has come up. It's a uh, Kenny design, which is me, custom cladding, which I designed uh, for my wall here. So it had the effect of the uh, Dominion or the interlock panel with the and, and real ease and simplicity uh, of just custom flashings. So this here is not an external wall. It's an internal wall, and so essentially this is what you call feature cladding, or internal feature cladding for a feature wall. So I've done this because it's outside in my living, in outdoor living area, and I want it to uh, just not have to be able to, I want to be able to water blast it. I want to be able to wipe it down, I don't want to have to paint it. And you know, outside it gets dusty and dirty, and you want to be able to clean stuff. So that's why I've done it. Next thing I'm going to do now is go through and put my flashings on to make it all look really pretty. So I'm not going to go through it and it's bit by bit, but what we're going to do is we're going to have a cap that runs along the top, a cap which runs under here to give it a nice little chunky, a nice chunky feel across there, a flashing that runs down here and down here, and also because I'm going to be putting weatherboard on the outside to match the rest of my house, I'm going to have a, a reveal on that side. So flashing there, up here, there, and over the top. And there you have it. So what am I waiting for? I've got to chuck some flashings on. and it's now 25 past four so two and a half hours and doing some videos with you guys pretty easy day's work really so come in here and flash that and what was important is some some pre forward planning some measuring some ordering and uh, having all the equipment and all the tools now we had a couple of challenges along the way but I managed to make that one work really nicely and I'm really really happy with it so I've got the other side of the wall to do but really this side's pretty much done Apart from a bit of a clean up, but look, I'm really, really happy. And for Kenny Dogs Cladding, I'm Kenny, this is Cladding. I love this stuff. Fancy custom stuff. And look, see what you, uh, see what you want to do at your place and see if I can help. Anyway guys, 
good luck with your cladding, good luck with your project, and whatever you do, love what you do, because then it will just, just give you an amazing life.